We're back with more Trigger King action from event number three, bracket number six of the season. Taking a look at qualifying highlights, third fastest qualifier, a big improvement from last time. It with both trucks, Parrish taking the third and second position, but the number one qualifier, Josh Rhodes and Black Pearl. Lots of variation from last time out with bracket number five in the qualifying results if you joined us. So could be a uh, diverse day of action as we head into bracket action right now in round number one. It's Orange Fury 2, the truck that took bracket number five in our last time out and Monster Patrol. Blank starting out strong, looking to back up that bracket victory and maybe steal the overall championship for the day. Josh Daly in sudden impact and Big A's wrecking. Andy Salerno. Salerno looking good and smooth out there. He'll move into round number two. El Toro Loco, Chris Hackinson. We call it Pinkalicious and Snake Bite. We saw it last time out. Horns versus Fangs once again. Pinkalicious off to the lead. The Horns take the measure of the Fangs and put the Snake down. Drivers ready? TMNT, Andy Salerno, and King Kong, Chris Lane. Kong with a wheelie on the far lane. He's in trouble as Salerno making his rounds. That was all it took for the Ninja Turtle to seal the deal. Awesome Kong, Troy Haas, and JB Scale Graphics, Chris Lane. Number 12, JB Scale, and 21, Awesome Kong. If you've joined us for prior events inside Dreamfield's Coliseum, you'll know that the track has gotten very rough in latter stages of the events. It seems to be holding up well with a whole lot of work from the Dreamfield's Coliseum crew. We've got a great racing surface this time out and Roadhog sticking it to the ground, taking a victory. Josh Rhodes in the Austin 316 brand new J Concepts extended cab Chevrolet S10 and Predator all new from Dan Cheech Agash in the far lane, but it's going to be Austin 316 with the victory. Buffalo Tremor in the near lane and There's Cheech right back up on the line as the number 10 qualifier with West Virginia Mountaineer. Tremor, the 23 qualifier. Cheech had a solid running in bracket five of the season last time out. Can he back it up or will Mark get the measure? Tremor squirrely down the straightaway. Mountaineer off to the lead. And the West Virginia native takes it in the West Virginia Mountaineer. Iron Aaron James and Chain Reaction versus Fred Kors and the Punisher. The 14-19 matchup as we get down towards the bottom of round number one. Both trucks really wide through turn one. Kors responds quickest. Big air over the bus stop. Jane's charging at the finish line, but Punisher gets it done. Iron Outlaw, Michael Spurlock and Gravedigger, Greg Coffee. Coffee new to the series. Spurlock, newer to the series, but he's been gaining a lot of strength since joining the team, joining the series. Looking good here. Coffee getting some track time out there. 
making his rounds, but it's not going to be enough in this round of racing as Iron Outlaw will move to round number two. Our final pair in round one, Batman Troy Hawes and El Toro Loco Zombie Chris Hackinson. Hackinson with a great showing last time out all the way to the finals before a disqualification for contacting the competitor took him out in the finals. No such issues here as Zombie Loco moves to round two. And round two is where we are as we see the Black Pearl sailing as the number one qualifier and the number 16 qualifier, Orange Fury 2, to one bracket number five. Both trucks nip and tuck, but the number one is going down once again as Orange Fury 2 pushes the pearl until it sinks. El Toro Loco, Chris Hackinson, and Big A's Auto Wrecking. A big leap for Toro, but did he get the obstacle? No, he misses the final obstacle, and Big A's gets the win by penalty. Missing the front wheels on the obstacle is a two-second penalty, and I should clarify, has to be the same two wheels from the same axle if the front end is in the air, but Hackinson did neither of those, and he goes on the trailer as right now Solano right back up on the line on the track, but he's not going to win this one as Taurus sails to victory, looking really good out there. Watch the light. Isaac Ankrum, Aquabats, and Chris Lane JB Scale Graphics. Aquabats, high qualifier in both brackets. He's in trouble. Oh, but a mistake right at the end. Missing the obstacle by JB Scale Graphics. Hands the win to Aquabats. Roadhog, Aaron James, and Barefoot Racer Chris Parrish. Barefoot the number two. Roadhog the number 15. James, a great turn. Oh, but swirly in no man's land. And Barefoot holds him on his hip to move on to round number three. Equalizer, choice over the Punisher. Austin, 316. And West Virginia Mountaineer, a 710 matchup. Could be a good one. Sheets looking good today out there, and he's off to a big lead. Austin's in trouble. Austin's in trouble. But coming from behind and stealing the win, Austin takes this one. Equalizer and the Punisher. Number three and number 19 qualifiers. This is the first time we've seen Equalizer in this bracket. Equalizer off to a little bit of a lead. Looking good down the back straightaway. Core is trying to cover some ground, but Equalizer will win this round. We've hit the final pair of round number two. Iron Outlaw, number six and number 11, El Toro Loco Zombie. Both trucks a little awkwardly through the first corner and El Toro Loco Zombie more awkwardly down the straightaway as Iron Outlaw gets it done. Moving on to round number three in this 27 truck bracket. Orange Fury 2 and Big A's wrecking. A bounce on the nose for Big A's into the final corner. Put him behind the eight ball coming down the straightaway, but he covered a lot of ground. Blank out of shape with the defending winner, Salerno charging in the near lane. <laughs> Incredible. Wow, Blank trying to recover, but I think Salerno flew 
past him in the air. There you see it. Big A's the official winner. He's moving on to the semifinals. 4-5 matchup. Taurus number three, Jeremy Mark and Aquabats, Isaac Ankrum. Oh! Ankrum with an issue hitting the turn obstacle and wheeling into the other lane. Taurus will move to the semifinals. In the other lane, Austin 316, the number seven, and Barefoot Racer, the number two, Rhodes versus Parrish. This could be a major clash. Parrish off to the jump, but a little wide in the corner. Rhodes smooth sailing on the near lane. Rhodes in the lead. Rhodes out of shape in no man's land, and Barefoot Racer throws that Schaefer power down for the win. In the other pair, this is our final pair in round number three. Number three, Equalizer, and number six, Iron Outlaw. These two have had some battles recently that have been very good. Equalizer off to a little bit of a lead in the near lane. Smurlock a little bit of trouble from the corner, and Equalizer hammer down all the way to the finish line. Semi-final round, the final four. We're getting down to it. An eight, a four, a two, and a three qualifiers right here. It's the eight and the four, big A's, and Taurus three. Mark off to a great lead, a big jump. Salerno in trouble trying to cover ground. It's going to be all Taurus as the big bull heads to the finals. the other pair. Parrish's trucks face off against each other. Number two, three, Barefoot and Equalizer and Equalizer will be selected to move on, setting up a 3-4 matchup. Equalizer and Taurus. Mark looking for his first sport mod win bracket ever in Trigger King and Equalizer in the near lane. Can the underdog get it done? He's behind right now. It's close. No Man's Land was the tail of the tape as Equalizer powers down the back straightaway around the corner. Mark is right there. Taurus gets to the tabletop first, but Equalizer downsiding the tabletop, gets the power down and flies it to the finish line. Equalizer takes bracket number two action. And overall for event number three goes to Equalizer as well with a semifinal round showing and a bracket win. Also putting Equalizer at the top of the point standing for the 2024 summer season right now. We've still got a lot of action left to come. We've still got four more brackets, two more events. We hope you'll join us next time. We couldn't do it without all of our sponsors and all of our participants, and certainly the fans at home watching. We thank you for joining us. We'll catch you next time.